All right, all right, all right. This is Ron Sneller coming at you, owner and founder of Sneller Financial Services. And I am back for part four of our video series, The Seven Deadly Sins of Retirement Planning. Today, I come to you from the wonderful metropolis of Clarkston, Michigan. And uh, I hope you all like my, my new tie. Uh, as the old saying goes, real men wear pink, I think it is, or maybe tough guys wear pink. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, let's get down to business because I want to talk about deadly sin number four, which is not having a volatility buffer. So the seven deadly sins are no holistic plan, no spend down plan or exit strategy, too focused on growth rather than income, no volatility buffer, not risk smart mistakes with insurance, and no strategy for taxes. So, you know, in my last video series and in blog post number three, we discussed the mistake of investors being too focused on growth rather than income and never being able to make that mindset shift into one of income. You know, conventional financial wisdom sets you up to rely 100% on the performance of the equities market for the success of your retirement. But that leaves the investor incredibly vulnerable. You know, we used to be able to rely on bonds as a sort of safe haven. So conventional wisdom said that in retirement, invest your portfolio in 60% stocks, 40% bonds, and withdraw 4% per year. But that no longer works in today's world. Look, we can't rely on the 60-40 portfolio. The 60-40 portfo portfolio is dead. Look, during the financial crisis in 2008, the price of both stocks and bonds went down. And think about this. The price of bonds are inversely related to interest rates. When rates go down, the price of bonds go up. When rates go up, the price of bonds go down. And you know, in today's low interest rate environment, most pundits seem to think that interest rates are as low as they can go. They have nowhere to go but where? Up. Now look, I personally don't think that's going to happen in the near future, but when it does happen, and it will at some point, the price of bonds are going to go down. Rates up, price down. So much for the safe haven, safe haven of bonds. So how does that impact your retirement income plan? Well, as discussed previously, the 4% withdrawal rate fails 20 to 30% of the time due to increased stock market volatility and the persistently low interest rates on savings and short-term debt instruments. The safe distribution rate's been lowered to 3%. So again, if you have a million dollars in your IRA, you have to pace yourself at $30,000 of withdrawals per year. At least you do if you don't want to run the risk of running out of money. Now. While our investments in the stock market tend to increase over a long-term period, they are extremely, extremely volatile and unreliable in the short term. So not only is it very dangerous for a retiree to rely on the stock market for short-term income, it's also incredibly stressful. So how do we combat this? Well, what we should do is implement what's called a volatility buffer into our financial plans. A volatility buffer is a non-correlated asset class that is not tied to the equities market. They should be safe, stable, and reliable. And just as importantly, they should be extremely efficient at generating cash flow. So let me introduce a paradigm shift. The ultimate success of your retirement is not about your assets. Let me repeat that. What did he just say? The ultimate success of your retirement is not about your assets. It is not about your assets. It is not about your assets. You see, because assets can be lost, they can be stolen, they can be swindled, they can be sued, they can be divorced, they can be decimated in a stock market crash, or they can be wiped out by long-term care. We do not spend assets. Assets are simply numbers on a piece of paper. We do not spend paper profits. No, we spend income. We need products that are designed to preserve your assets regardless of the market situation and efficiently distribute reliable retirement income. If you think about the most miserable people that you know in retirement, they're loaded. They've got money coming out the wazoo. They're swimming in their assets. 
but they're miserable because they're constantly worried. They're worried about losing money in the stock market. They're worried about losing money in oil. They're worried about losing money in China. They're worried about what's going to happen to their money if this bozo over here gets into the Oval Office versus this Yahoo over here. So these people who retire only on assets, they're miserable because they're constantly worried about what's going to happen. Conversely, if you think about the people who are happiest in retirement, who are they? People with pensions, your retired teachers, military, government employees, people who have guaranteed paychecks for life. They're never concerned about running out of money because their paycheck lasts as long as they do. You see, the Wall Street industry and the financial media, they've conditioned us to value a large lump sum asset over reliable streams of income. But why? Well, because they make a ton of fees off of us to manage our lump sum asset. Now look, I'm an investment advisor as well. I manage assets and I do make a fee for doing so and giving financial advice. But that's not the only place that you should have your money. And it certainly shouldn't be the place that you have your short-term spendable income, right? The money that you have to rely on in the short term. You know, most people, they don't realize the capital equivalent value of a pension. You know, if someone has a $4,000 per month pension, that's $48,000 a year. And if you work backwards, utilizing the safe withdrawal rate of 3%, well, $48,000 a year divided by 3%, that's $1.6 million. A $4,000 per month pension has a capital equivalent value of $1.6 million in a lump sum as in an IRA or in a brokerage account. Now, that's not taking taxation into consideration, of course, but you get the picture, right? So people with pensions, secure, reliable, worry-free, and happy. It's incredible. Now, look, if you have a pension, that's an incredible volatility buffer. The problem that most people, they don't have access to pensions nowadays. Only about 15% of the American workforce have a traditional defined benefit pension plan. So what's the solution? Fund your own pension plan. Did you realize that you can do that? Now look, a retiree can take a portion of their assets to buy an income annuity. An income annuity functions as a type of personal pension. It functions that way in that it can distribute a, rel a reliable, regular stream of income, and it does it at much higher distribution rates than 3%, as if you had all of your money in a managed money portfolio. So for these income annuities, I want you to think of them as cash flow insurance. And for people who are 10 plus years away from retirement, I often fund their personal pension plan by utilizing cash value life insurance. Life insurance? Why in the world would you use life insurance? You would think that life insurance would be the last thing that you'd want to use in a retirement income plan. Why do we use it then? Well, because the tax code has anointed it as the second coming, right? How does that work? Well, the distributions can work very similar to that of an annuity. But according to the way that the tax code has it set up, the distributions from a cash value life insurance policy are completely tax exempt if structured properly. It's absolutely amazing. And here's the kicker. If immediate income needs, if your spending goals, if they're, if they're secure because of the implementation of a volatility buffer, guess what? That means the rest of your assets can be positioned even more aggressively for long-term growth. The presence of the volatility buffer significantly reduces the, the influence of what we call behavioral finance, meaning short-term emotional decision-making. Because even when the portfolio has sudden fluctuations due to short-term market volatility, we don't have to get worried. We don't have to make rash decisions. Why? Because the near term is completely secure. Why? Because we've implemented a volatility buffer into your retirement income plan. 
This significantly reduces investing mistakes and it leads to improved outcomes and better performance for the long-term investment portfolio as well. I can't think of a single case where someone wouldn't benefit from utilizing a volatility buffer. The sooner that one begins to plan for it and fund it, the better it will perform in the long-term plan. Keeping the majority of your money invested in the equities market can lead to a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety. But allocating a portion of your assets into a volatility buffer can help improve long-term outcomes, help you enjoy your retirement, and help you sleep well at night. For a free, no obligation consultation about how to implement these concepts into your retirement plan, feel free to contact me. And don't forget to tune into our next entry in the video and blog series, Deadly Sin Number Five, Not Being Risk Smart. Thanks for tuning in.